Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showcasing six working glitches currently in GTA 5 online. And as always, these glitches are very different from one another. So if that is something you guys would like to see more in the future, do be sure to drop a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is simply load up any of these brand new missions. They are known as the ULP missions. Simply go ahead and pick any of the outfits and then ready up into the mission. Now, once you guys get into the mission, simply pull up your interaction menu, go down to style and you want to flick your player mood to the right for about a minute. So as you guys can see on screen, I'm just flicking my character's player mood to the right for about one minute or so. Once you guys have done that, simply just go over to your dashboard in the game where you guys can see all of your games just so you guys can get kicked from the game. So simply just pull up your home screen menu on either your Xbox dashboard or your PlayStation dashboard, leave your control pad down, go AFK for 15 minutes. When you guys come back, you should notice that you've been kicked from the mission. However, you guys will also notice that when you're kicked from the mission and you load into free mode, your character will now have glitched the IAA badge onto his outfit so from here simply head over to any clothing store in the game save it as a brand new outfit and you guys have got the iaa badge saved as easy as that and as you guys can see on screen you can actually customize the outfits with this badge a ton whereas with certain other items in the game i.e the black duffel bag once you guys have got that outfit you can't customize it or change it in any way otherwise it'll just remove the duffel bag whereas as you guys can see on screen the iaa badge will remain in your character when you guys go through a bunch of different clothing items Moving on to the next glitch, and this is actually a cool little wall bridge glitch that's located at a very famous location, probably the most popular location within GTA 5. I'm pretty sure you guys have been here once or twice before while playing online, and that is the Los Santos Pier. So to do this wall bridge, all you guys want to do is get a car of a decent size. It doesn't have to be as big as this Sand King you can see me using right now. You can get this like a normal van or anything. Drive to the car park, literally on the right side of the pier. Park it up as you can see me doing against the wall. Get on top of the car and simply jump on top of these little air vents and then bang as you boys can see straight into the wall breach now like i said the pier is a pretty popular location it's a good location to troll friends or if you guys have got to try and get away from the cops quickly unfortunately i couldn't find any area which you can actually shoot out of however you also cannot be shot whilst in this wall breach so it is a god mod wall breach like i said it's not the best however nonetheless it still is good to know and a good little spot to chill out on if you guys are looking to troll friends Okay, so the very first part of this glitch, you guys do want to go ahead and choose whatever pants and shoes that you guys want to wear with this outfit right at the start. Because once you guys get an invisible torso, you won't be able to go back and then change your pants or shoes. So go ahead and do that right from the start. Now me personally, as you guys can see on screen, I'm actually wearing some rare tan joggers with some boots that you can't actually buy. That's because I want to be wearing these with the invisible torso. And if you guys would like a link to that video showing you how to get these rare tan joggers, I will leave a link down low in the description and if I forget to do so please someone just leave a comment and I will update it shortly so once you guys are wearing the joggers and the boots that you want to keep with this outfit you simply want to go over to the top section you want to go over to jackets go down to overcoats and simply apply any of these open parker jackets that you like the look of now this is another great thing about this glitch as you guys can see there is tons of sick colors on these new jackets so maybe if you guys do want to put together a certain color scheme on your outfit you have tons of different colors to choose from so for the sake of the video i'm going to be using this like purple lilac -y color one but you guys can use any of the parker jackets as long as they're open now you must also make sure that your character is wearing a t-shirt underneath the jacket as you guys can see i'm just wearing a standard crew color t-shirt now once you guys have done that you simply want to make your way over to the outfit section and save this as an outfit now you can either do this part in the clothing store or any owned apartment because we are going to need to go to our own apartment 
or an office where we can look through the telescope. Now once you guys have saved that outfit, you simply want to apply one of the highest coverall outfits to your character. They do come in two different colours, the yellow and the blue. Now if you guys choose the yellow outfit like me on screen, then you will get a white hood. If you choose the blue outfit, then you will get a yellow hood, so bear that in mind. Nonetheless, once you guys are in your own apartment or any owned office with a telescope, you want to be wearing the hazard suit or the quarantine suit. You want to locate your telescope, simply run straight past it, pressing right on the D-pad and then slightly move away. And then from here, you can open your interaction menu. You want to go down to style and select the outfit that we just saved in the clothing store, as you guys can see on screen. Now, once you guys are wearing the outfit, simply walk away from the telescope and then bang, you should notice the mask will glitch onto this outfit from here go back into your closet then go ahead and overwrite or save this as a brand new outfit so once you guys have saved this as an outfit from here all you guys want to do is press start go across the online jobs and start up any rockstar created contact mission so for the sake of the video i'm going to choose the very first one a titan of a job now you guys will notice as soon as you guys start any contact mission your character will spawn in and bang an invisible torso is easy as that now we're not quite done from here from here you guys do want to make your way over to any ammunition store and simply overwrite or save this as an outfit now if you guys actually have a spawn location on last location and you do this in one of your offices like i mentioned then you don't even have to go to an ammunition you can simply just make your way back into your closet as you guys can see on screen and simply overwrite this as an outfit and once you guys have saved this as an outfit you won't need to complete the mission and simply pull up your phone and quit the mission as easy as that now once you guys spawn back into a free run session your character may still be wearing the t-shirt don't worry from here all you have to do is pull up the interaction menu and simply select the outfit that we just saved in the job and then you guys will notice as soon as you select the outfit bang your character will have this invisible torso with this glitched out modded looking hood so once you've got the outfit on simply make your way back to any office ammunition or apartment and open overwrite this as an outfit and from here the t-shirt will never reappear again you guys can flick through all of your outfits and your character will always have an invisible torso so there we go guys by far one of the easiest methods that all of you guys can do straight away to get an invisible torso Okay, so just like all of the best launch glitches out there, you guys will need a friend to do this launch glitch. So do be sure to leave a comment down below, find some other players on the same platform as you and put together a nice little group of you guys. Now, once you guys have got a friend, you want to have one of you to be driving a tank and the other person needs to be in a turret insurgent. Now, what you want to do is basically drive the insurgent straight into the tank face first. However, you want to have the nozzle of the tank lean into the sideways so your turret insertion will basically clip off the nozzle which will send you guys flying so as you guys can see on screen i'm driving towards the tank right now the nozzle's leaned out towards the right bang as soon as i whack into it my insurgent goes flying and this isn't even the highest result i ended up getting i've got to say one of the best things about this glitch is you get a completely random result every single time so you have no idea what to expect sometimes you'll get launched like thousands of feet in the air sometimes you'll just do some quick whirlwind back spins over and over again and the fact that it's so goddamn easy to land i guarantee a bunch of you guys will be able to have tons of fun with this glitch especially if you maybe try and get one of your other friends to be on the turreted limo whilst you're getting launched and then maybe get him to like jump out whilst you're getting launched you might be able to recreate some crazy looking stunts now you don't have to do it at the airport me and my friend just decided to do it here because there was much more open space i could show off the launch glitch but like i said you can do this anywhere in the map maybe even try and use it to get your car into certain spots that usually you can't get it on so like say if you was doing the executive search you could do this glitch get your insurgent on top of like a building or a skyscraper and You want to head to this location on the map. It's at the dam area. Now, a pretty well-known spot on GTA land. You do often get a load of members spawning or starting around this area, especially if you guys like to take part in those uh, free mode events that usually take part. A load of the checkpoints or objectives usually lead to this dam location because it's a pretty well-designed area by Rockstar. However, once you guys arrive at the location, you want to climb up the ladder and do as I do here. Come to this little railing 
jumps down, you want to land in between the fence and the railing. And as you guys can see, bang, you just wall breach straight in through the wall. So as you guys just saw, this is an extremely easy wall breach to do. It is located at a very popular location within GTA 5 and you do get some amazing views. Look at that view right there, boys, at the dam. That's a better view than any of the penthouses that you can buy for like half a million dollars. guys are looking to put together a good outfit it could set you guys back hundreds of thousands of dollars so if there's ever any glitches which you guys can get a bunch of clothing for free then it's definitely worth going ahead and doing and that's exactly what i'm going to be going ahead and showing all of you guys in today's video how you guys can go ahead and save any of the ceo outfits for free which like i said if you guys were to go ahead and buy these things individually in the game would cost you guys hundreds of thousands of dollars easily and as you guys can see on screen there is quite a few good different items that you guys can use from these outfits including the tan joggers the black body armor a bunch of different accessories or masks so there really is a ton of different options that you guys could use in the future to put together modded outfits or maybe just like i said save yourself a bunch of money okay so i know for a fact a bunch of you guys are really going to like this glitch because it's extremely easy to do works on the ps4 ps5 both xboxes and pc and it's also 100 percent solo now all you guys have to do is simply make your way over to this location Location on the map as you guys can see this clothing store right here it should be located right next to this race now once you guys arrive at the location simply go ahead and register as a ceo now from here pull up your interaction menu and select any of the outfits that you guys want to save or you like the look of so as you guys can see on screen I ended up going for this black body armor suit as it's actually something that you guys can't buy in the game and i'm going to be putting together a modded outfit with this body armor so if that is something that you guys would like to see in a future video do be sure to drop a like as that is the only way to let me know that you guys do enjoy these clothing glitch videos however once you guys have selected the outfit that you like the look of go ahead and make your way over to the race and press right on your d-pad to enter into the race now once you guys are in the race menu simply go ahead and confirm the settings once you guys have confirmed the settings simply Simply go ahead and change your outfit once to the right and then back to the original outfit then once you guys have done that select continue and then go ahead and back out of the race now you guys should notice when you back out of the race you will spawn you guys back at the same location that we started the race so from here run straight into the clothing store quickly go over to the counter press right on the d-pad to open up your outfits go down to your outfits and just press nothing from here wait until you guys get kicked out of this menu and as you guys can see as soon as you guys are kicked from the menu the outfit should appear on your character from here pull up your interaction menu simply retire as a ceo and you guys should notice your character will still be wearing this ceo outfit from here go ahead over to your outfit and you can go ahead and save this as a brand new outfit and as easy as that like i said you guys can save any of these outfits straight away and there really is a ton to choose from so like i said if you guys would like to see me put together more clothing glitches and modded outfits on my channel in the future all i ask is you take two seconds to drop a like down below is that is the only way you guys can let me know that you do enjoy clothing glitches and i will be sure to post more in the future 